Hello, Chad. Hello. Hi, folks. After that wonderful a cappella, I think it's time to uh, have some of the luminaries and uh, you know big supporters of Rishi. And every one of them is an individual who inspires all of us. So I'm going to call one at a time. And actually, those who are uh, supposed to talk on, uh, and on behalf of Rishi, it would be great if they want to come and sit down here. I'll invite them to come and take a, take a seat. So uh, I've got a number of people here. Uh, let's see. We have Dr. Japra, Ash Kalra. We have Howard Miller, um, Anu Natarajan, Chuck Page. Dr. Jeff Lee, uh, Mr. Roman Reed, we have Mahesh Nihalini, Muhammad Nadeem, Murli Krishnamurti, Anu Jagdish, Anu Singh, Yashula, and Jeff Peel. Please, uh, if, you, if you heard your name, I hope I, hope I was clear, please, please come on over here. If you don't mind, it's, it's pretty nice under the arbor. You'll enjoy this. Uh, sun and shade at the same time, I promise you that. So come on over. And uh, okay, with, uh, without further ado, let me introduce, hello, can I have your attention please? Shh. Thank you, thank you for your attention. It's my great pleasure to kick this off and invite uh, Ash Kalra. I'm sure a lot, all of you have heard of Ash. Uh, he is uh, the San Jose Council Member for District 2. And it's an honor and pleasure to have him here to kick it off, kick off the official campaign for Rishi. Uh, Ash Kalra happens to be a role model and inspiration for the Indo-American community. Uh, he has been very involved right from, I would say, very early stages as a teenager, as a young adult. And he has come up the ranks doing all the hard work, all the hard lifting. And he truly represents uh, what uh, you know, uh, uh, USA, America is all about, which is free spirit, get involved, Act, think globally and act locally. Ash represents that. So here he is. Thank you so much. So such a generous and kind introduction. Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Is everyone excited to be here? <laughs> there, that sounds good. Uh, well, I'm very excited to be here in support of Rishi. And uh, everyone here, I imagine, has had the opportunity to see Rishi in action. And I like to focus on the words action because uh, when it comes to having someone work in service for the community, a lot of people can talk about words, but it's the actions that we must, must watch and follow. And I know that uh, this community has certainly been invigorated by so many wonderful community leaders. And Rishi, for me, is one of those that, that comes to the top of the list as someone that's just done a tremendous amount of work that has put so much of his time and energy into empowering the community in so many ways, into inspiring the youth, making sure that everyone here in the town of Saratoga and beyond has a voice. Uh, he has a tremendous amount of energy, and for that we all must give much credit to Seema for putting up with Rishi with all that energy, uh, because there's, there, they certainly are a team. And uh, I know that uh, the city of Saratoga is not only going to get Rishi, but Seema, the whole family, and the community uh, when Rishi gets elected, which I think is just such a wonderful thing uh, for the community. You know, back in uh, 2008, uh, in the entire city of Santa Clara, uh, the, the entire county of Santa Clara, there had never been uh, an Indian American elected into uh, a city council uh, seat. In the history of this county, uh, that now approaches two million, there had never been an Indian American elected onto any city council in the entire county. And that's over a dozen cities, 14, I think, cities it is. And I was very honored in uh, November of 2008 to be elected, not just as the first, but tied with the first, with Susie Nagpal. We both got elected at the same time in November of 2008. And it was a great honor for me to join such a wonderful woman uh, in elected office as being the first in our community. But one thing that, uh, that I believe in, and I know Susie believed in, is that we certainly didn't want to be the last. And we wanted to make sure there were others in our community that stood up and took the, the courage and took the risk to step forward. But it had to be 
the right person. And I think with Rishi, we know we have a person that is the right person to lead right now in the spirit of Susie, is the right person to lead right now, uh, not just on behalf of the Indian community, of course, but in, on behalf of the entire community, because uh, we're here as Americans, and we have to make sure that we do the best we can to represent uh, the needs and desires of our community. And so I'm just very proud to be here uh, at this historic event, uh, because really it's the launching of a political career that I believe is one that we'll all be proud of, and will make the Indian community proud, will make Saratogans proud, uh, and I think will make all Californians proud. And so I'm very happy to see so many of you here today. How many of you uh, live in Saratoga? That's fantastic, you know, because as much as we all love and appreciate Senator Bell, who's a great friend of our community, uh, Dr. Jabra, Mahesh Nialani, uh, Muhammad Nadeem, uh, myself, we're all here to support Rishi, but those of you that live in Saratoga, you're the most important people here. Because <laughs> you're the ones that are going to get Rishi elected, and you're the one... You're the ones whose voice that Rishi needs to hear more than anyone. So, Rishi, congratulations, and let's go on and win this thing. Thank you, Ash. That's great. Great uh, start here. Let me invite uh, the next person here, and uh, it's in no particular order, but uh, Dr. Ramesh Jafra, I, I, I know you're there. Some, there he is. Uh, it's my personal pleasure to invite uh, Dr. Ramesh Abra, my uh, friend from for 25 or maybe 30 years now. I, I, who's, uh, who's counting now? Uh, we used to live in Fremont and uh, we were uh, in the same neighborhood. Dr. Jabra does not need a big introduction. Uh, he uh, is one of the pioneers of the Indo-American community. He brought the community together 25 years ago, started many of the organizations that he has led. He's the CEO and uh, you know, in charge of India Post, which is a leading Indo-American newspaper. He leads the uh, Indian uh, Democratic, uh, uh, Indian American Democratic Forum. He leads that, and uh, uh, it goes without saying that he's actually also uh, a cardiologist, and uh, we call him the doctor with a big heart. Okay, so here you are, Ray. Thank you. Thank you, Raman. That's really, really generous uh, of him. And uh, I'm really excited, as excited as Rishi gets excited when he gets on the stage. You know, we've had a few functions together and uh, sometimes he beats me out there. Like Rama said, for the last 35 years, I've been working with our communities at large, especially our community culturally, socially, entrepreneurially, and in many, many ways, uh, we work together and try to empower our community in different ways. But I, I think one of the things where we have not made a mark has been the public service. As uh, as said earlier, it was only 2008 in Santa Clara County. Uh, we've been a little fortunate in Alameda County. We went a little bit earlier. But uh, I think a lot more need to be done. I think uh, as we know that in our community, there are people uh, who, who have excelled in almost every field, whether it's IT or medicine, uh, businesses, you just name it, even education. I think we've excelled all the way, but in public service and political arena, we have been far, far behind. And the time has come, and especially with this new generation now, people like Rishi and Ash, I think we are very fortunate that some of these people who really have the credentials, who have the talents, who have the skill sets, I think they're going to come forward, represent us, and make not just our community, but the whole community at large uh, a, a bliss. I think. Uh, as he said, the action has to be done. There are a lot of agenda he has. I'm not going to go into that. I'm sure we're going to hear from his uh, mouth uh, right up here. But once again, I'm super excited that he's running and we're going to put all our resources. I mean, I'm coming from Fremont, but the whole Bay Area, whole Northern California, we're going to mobilize our resources so that he can be up there and he's going to be a councilman right from the city of Saratoga. Go Rishi. Thank you, Dr. Jabra. Okay, the next. I can't read this without my sunglasses. Uh, okay, Howard. So it's my great pleasure to invite Howard Miller. He should be no stranger to Saratogans. He has been uh, with the. Uh, he's been council member two, two terms. He has been two times mayor. So he comes with a deep, you know, knowledge of uh, the local uh, issues, the local colors, and. Uh, Let's see. Oh, he's not here yet. 
I was thinking he's hiding in the back until I finish the introductions. Okay, so we'll wait to get uh, Howard later, he's on his way. Uh, let's uh, introduce then uh, the next person. Uh, again, a very big luminary here. Uh, we are happy to have Anu Natarajan with us. She's a former vice mayor and Fremont city council member. She needs no further introduction. She is, uh, again, very active in the Bay Area, in the Indo-American Indo community, and she's not here yet. <laughs> what am I doing? That's why, now you see I had a plan. I wanted all of you to come and sit back here so I could really see who's here, who's not. Okay. Let me invite Mahesh Nihalini, Cupertino community leader, neighbor, neighbor city right next door to us. Mahesh, it's a pleasure to have you here. It's an honor and uh, I believe you initiated and launched Cupertino's famous Diwali celebration, which, is, which has become quite an event, attended by thousands of people, both Indo-Americans and uh, others as well. So thank you for keeping it going and bringing the energy. And here you are. Uh, good afternoon. It's a lovely day today, and I am so happy to be here, part of uh, Rishi's kickoff campaign. And I'd uh, like to thank uh, Mini and Rama Shukla for opening their house for this lovely uh, afternoon today. And uh, well, I'm a friend and a neighbor from Cupertino and uh, have been involved with the community there for a long time. And uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Rishi about uh, six, seven years ago when I think Susie Nagpal introduced me to him. Uh, he was working with, him, with her then at the time and uh, she was in the council here. And subsequently I kept meeting him in the last four or five years. He's got very active, you know, at the grassroots level, which is what we need out here to know, get to know the community and the community to know him. And besides that, he's also got actively involved in the, uh, in the Democratic Party and, uh, you know, is, is one of the executive board members there and uh, has been socially also uh, acclimatizing himself to meet everybody so everybody knows him. And I think like uh, Rishi and Dr. Jafra said, it's very important, you know, that our younger generation like Rishi and Ash now move towards being in the governance and being involved with politics and the civic activities in our country, in this country. And uh, we are so happy and we are very happy and supportive of this kind of a thing. Rishi has been so active, as you Sarah Togans would probably know, uh, we of the, in the Bay Area know that he's so actively involved with everything out here, doing a lot of tamaka, and I'm sure he'll do the same tamaka when he comes into the local governance and politics. In the right way, of course. Yeah. So we have, he has all our support, whatever support we can give him. Our love and blessings are with him, and I'm sure you'll see him as the next council member. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Mohammad Nadim. Mohammad is running for Santa Clara City Council, but that's not something new to him. He has been for eight years serving on the Civil Service Commission of the Santa Clara, and it's a pleasure to have you here, Mohammad. Thank you, Rama. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for hosting uh, Rishi, Seema, and his family here. Thank you so much, uh, Rama, and your, your wife, your family here. I'm so proud to be here. I have known Rishi just for two years now. Uh, we met at uh, Anuna Rajan's uh, kickoff meeting a couple of years ago, but we have become very good friends. Uh, he has been such a, such a noble person, very active, very energetic. We serve on the uh, Democratic Club, Indian Democratic Club. You know, I think coming from India, Indian uh, community, uh, I want to say that uh, this community is really blessed community simply because of three reasons. Enormous education, tremendous talent, and amazing wealth we have. And with that, I think it comes an enormous responsibility on all of us to, to come into the area of public life, public service. And, and, and I think what's happening in the last few years, we see that more and more Indian community folks are coming, stepping forward uh, to be in this arena. And, and I think as Sarah Tokens, whether you are Indian or not, I think you are getting a person who is really going to make a difference. Uh, he, has, uh, he has the right skill set, and he has the ability, education, and qualification, and he's very excited. So I'm really proud to be here supporting Rishi and his family, Seema. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Okay, the next person, uh, I'm very, very pleased to invite.